all right guys welcome back so in the last video we created multiple enemies and our game is looking real real good so the score system is working but the score is not being currently displayed on our game window so we'll fix that in this video we'll make sure that the score appears on the top left corner of our screen so how do you do that so that is simple we use the font object that is inside pygame so pygame is actually going to help us create font or text on the screen so the first thing we need to do is go to this uh, bullet image and we are going to actually remove the score variable that we've created over here so instead of that we are going to just press enter and write score so that we know we are creating score under this statement and then right now we are going to create a variable known as score value and we're going to give it a value of zero and obviously you can see with this red symbol there is some error which says score plus one we are doing it over here so we need to change this to score value and then we can remove the print statement because we don't need it now so let's just go up now and then we have to use the score object or the pygame font object so that is pretty easy you just create a variable known as font and obviously you probably know already what font is font is just the type of text or the style of text that is displayed how much the width of the line of an i is is actually dependent upon the font what kind of font you use so first we are going to define what kind of font do we want so how do you do that you just use the pygame.font method that is inside pygame pygame.font dot capital f font and inside this we are going to give it two values the first is which font do we want so inside pygame there is one free font which is known as free sans bold so right now we are just going to use this font and dot ttf is the extension of the font and then we are going to give it a size so we are just going to give it a size of 32 and then after that we are going to give it the x and y coordinates of where we want this text to appear so we want it to appear in the top left corner somewhere but not just attached to the screen a little bit away from the screen so we are going to give it a value of text x this is the x coordinate of 10 pixels and then text y of that is the y coordinate also of 10. now just like we did with these player player enemies we have to create a function that is going to show this score value on the screen so let's do that we are going to create a function which we are going to call show score pretty easy stuff and inside this function we have to give it the x and y values just like we have done with everything else and one difference is that for example you can see how we are blitting the image inside this dev player now instead of blitting the player or drawing the player on the screen we are going to render the text on the screen so so i'll just show you what i mean by that so we're going to create a variable of score and inside this we are going to write font dot render and it's going to require some values inside it so this is the what i mean by instead of blading we are going to render the text or show the text on the screen so using this font object we have created over here we are going to write font dot render and then it's going to require a couple of values the first value is what text do you want so we want our text to be first of all score uh, and then we want the score value in front of the text so we are going to write int actually we have to convert it into a string so right now this score value is an integer so we have to use type casting and inside this so basically we are converting this integer value to a string by writing str in front of it this concept in python is known as type casting and actually in programming this concept is known as type casting so inside this we are going to write score value and then after that the second value is required is true so we can display it on the screen and then the third value it requires is what is the color of the font that you want you can show whatever color you want obviously we have to use the rgb values which we have discussed before but i'm just going to use the white color that is 255 red 255 green and then 255 blue so this is looking pretty good let me just format this properly and then we are going to show it on the screen and how do you show it on the screen so first we are going to render the score or render the text and then we have to plate this text on the screen or draw this text on the screen that is why i said this is a little bit different first you have to render then you have to blit it on the screen so we are going to use the same concept we have over here so actually let me just copy this from here and paste it and instead of image we are going to render our score so this time it's not an image it's a font or a text and it requires x and y value which we are providing through this function and now one last step that we have to do is pretty easy we just have to go down and anything that you want to persist on a screen obviously has to be called inside our while loop 
So I'm just gonna call our show score function and x y is text x and text y. All right, guys. So this is looking pretty easy. So let me just run it and show you that it works. And hopefully it will run without any errors. So our score is displayed on the top left corner. And when we shoot someone, let me just shoot someone. As you can see, our score is increasing. So let me just shoot a couple of more enemies or space invaders. All right, guys. So this is looking pretty good. Our score is increasing. Enemies are being respawned and our game is being created. So one last thing I want to tell you guys is that how do you add extra fonts? So right now, if we go to our fonts, so for example, here is a font. This is the only font that is inside our Pi game. So let me just close this. How do you add other fonts inside this? So what you can do is you can go to a website or something and download fonts and they will give you a font that is of extension .ttf and you can just download this, place it inside your project structure and just write the name of the font. So for example, what you can do is you can go to this website known as DA font and this gives a lot of fonts for free. So you can download just any, any font that you want and it's going to give you a zip file. Just extract that zip file and it's going to give you a .ttf file. Then paste that .ttf file inside this paste invader project folder and just write the name over here and then you can use that font inside your Pi game. So this is pretty easy. And this stands for the font size. So let me just increase the first side to something crazy, 70 maybe. It's not that crazy, but as you can see, the score has increased to 70 size. But let's keep it, let's keep it small, 32 pixels. All right, guys, so this is pretty much it. So let just to recap for a little bit, first we created the score value, we added a font object. Then we created the X and Y coordinates of the font where we want it to appear. And then inside a show score, we did two things. We rendered the font and then we blitted it or drew it on the screen. In render, we applied or gave it three values, the score, the true and the color of our text. So you can change it to green. So let me just show it to you guys. Our GB, so GB should be 255. And then we can make both of these values as zero red and blue. And this should make it green. Let's play it. And as you can see, it's green. But we want it in white color. White, I think, looks good on any game. So let me just change it to 255 again. All right, let me just give a space over here. And then we drew it on the screen. And then the last thing we did was before changing the value of our score. So after collision, we need to make sure that the score value is increasing by one after we hit the enemy by a bullet. And the second thing is we call the show underscore function. That is pretty standard. All right, guys, so in the next video, we are going to learn how to end the game. So right now the game is not ending. It's just keeping on going, even if the enemy hits our spaceship. So one thing I noticed is that the enemies are uh, not moving very fast. So we'll also increase the speed of the enemy a little bit in the next video. And we'll make these minor changes. So I'll see you over there.